Okay, this is a horizontal slice through the anterior commissure of a human brain. And the first structure I'm going to point out is this one right here, which is the hippocampus, this seahorse uh, shaped structure. The hippocampus is a part of the limbic system and plays a role in memory processes. And then right here we have the inferior colliculus. We also have one right here. And then just lateral to the inferior colliculus, we have the lateral lemniscus, which would be right here. And the lateral lemniscus um, contains axons with sound information terminating in the inferior colliculus. And we have another one just about right here. And then we also have the spinal thalamic tract right here, which is carrying um, a bundle, well it is a bundle of fibers carrying information about pain and temperature originating from the spinal cord and uh, it's taking it to the thalamus and we also have that over here right here and then we have the medial lemniscus which is about right here and the medial lemniscus is also a bundle of fibers um, originating from the brain stem carrying information about proprioception and light touch uh, to the thalamus and then right here we have the red nucleus we have another one right here and then right here we have the ocular motor nucleus and the ocular motor system is, is uh, used for pupillary constriction, dilation, and keeping the object uh, centered on the fovea. Okay, And then right here we have the anterior commissure. The anterior commissure is a bundle of white fibers connecting both of the hemispheres and then we have several basal ganglia structures. We have the putamen right here and another one right here. And then we have the globus pallidus external right here and here's the external and then we have the internal right here. Okay, and then we see a little bit of the fornix right here and a little bit of the fornix right here as well. Okay, and then we have the subthalamic nuclei, which is located right here. And the subthalamic nuclei is also associated with the basal ganglia, and a lesion in the subthalamic nuclei would result in hemibolism. And then up here we have the caudate nucleus. You can see just a little bit of it. And then we have the lateral ventricles right here. And then we have the internal capsules right here. Right there.